Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your South African professional nurse, Z. <laughs> guys, so today I'm at a venue somewhere in Tlaxop. I'm in Tlaxop actually, and I've been invited to come and speak to student nurses who are SRC members. I think they are the new SRC for their respective colleges. So we have two colleges here. It's the Mabatu College of Nursing College as well as the Excelsius College. And I will be the guest speaker slash motivational speaker. We arrived here about I think 30, 30 minutes or 45 minutes ago and nobody has said anything to me. So I'm sitting in the car. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm not sure what is the procedure because the lecturer that invited me here she's not here and the ones that are here they don't seem to know what is happening so i'm just gonna chill in this car until someone decides to come and look for me because now people have vanished i don't know where do they go um as i was sitting here nobody knew what was happening and yeah i i really have no idea of what is happening but this is what i don't like i i hate it when i go to a place or rather be invited to a place and when i get there people are not organized people don't know what they're doing and nobody checks me out the fact that nobody checks me out guys like i hate it i hate it currently i know nobody here literally no one i'm not used to anyone so i don't know what to do with myself i'm just but yeah, um, the topic that I'll be covering today, what I'll be speaking on, it's the South African image of nursing. So that's what I'll be talking about. It's more of the video that I made, the last video on my channel. I'll be covering that. Reason being, my audience is student nurses and they are the future of the South African nursing image so i guess it's relevant for me to cover this topic with them i always say that if i go to a place and get in a podium and deliver my message and it gets to transform a person whether it's one or two people that is enough for me that is good enough because i believe that the very same people that my message has transformed they will they will run their race and they will impact other people so i don't look at it like okay i just transformed two people's lives and it's not enough for me it's not about that it's about delivering a message and getting one soul transforming and buying into what i'm saying so yeah the message is definitely going to be about the image of nursing in south africa reshaping the image of nursing in south africa we need it but it's desperate because the image of nursing in south africa it's alarming as i had said on my previous video so I'm going to sit in this car alone by myself, by myself, until they realize that I'm missing, I guess, and decide to come and fetch me. <laughs> but I hope I'll get someone to record for me while I deliver the message. So I'll see you guys when I'm inside. Hopefully I will go inside. Ciao. In the meantime, while I'm waiting in this car, why don't you quickly go and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys when I'm inside. And it's something that I am very passionate about. I always look forward to 
developing myself, not only for myself, but for the coming generation that is on the way, and they are looking at me. I believe Nelson Mandela once said that you need to be the change that you want to be in the environment, right? You cannot keep on telling people to change if you don't act it out. Yes. So for people to be able to listen to what you are saying, you need to first act it out and then come back to them and tell them what to do. So it's, I think it's one of the leadership skills that is required to be a leader. You cannot afford to be a leader that's only uttering words but does not become what she is preaching. So you gotta preach what you are. And you can to talk to you guys about self-development. If you are not empowered as a leader, you cannot be able to influence and empower others. That is highly impossible. We having a crisis, colleagues, we having a crisis in South Africa as nurses. I, by the way, have a YouTube channel a YouTube channel is something that is done mostly by um, nurses in America, nurses in Europe, nurses elsewhere. There is no South African nurse that does a YouTube channel except for myself. So I am the first. Reason being, reason being, as nurses, we are regarded as people who do not have information, as people who are not educated, because we are not showing the public of what we are capable of. At school, I can't remember which year it was, I think it was the second year, there is a module that we did in nursing and it's associated with um, assertiveness. Is it to the source? Yes. Yes. Yeah, mm. it's source. It's associated with assertiveness. Wounds me the most is the fact that nurses, they are not assertive, but they are stubborn. There is a difference between assertive and being stubborn. Being stubborn is wanting to force your way, but being assertive is standing for something that is right. So as nurses, we need to be assertive than being stubborn. And assertiveness, it does not only give you the platform to say what is right, but it also plays a worth price tag on you. I work for the Abarazama China, like when you go to China City, when you get there, you find the price tag on the, on the clothes, net, but you are able to negotiate with the owner to say, I only have 100 rates. It's 120, but I only have 100 rates. Mm -hmm. And they are able to give it to you the 100 rates because that's the money that you have. But if you go to two ways and you find 750, you cannot negotiate that price. The manager will not give it to you the, the, the 500 because you don't have the 720. But for China City, you are able to negotiate. It's because the price tag and the worthiness of what true wealth sells is legit. But what is sold for, 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 for China City, it's not legit. And we as nurses, we have conducted ourselves as products that are being sold at China City instead of products that are being sold at True West. Yeah. Like, yeah. We have the responsibility as young nurses to reshape and reform the image of nursing in South Africa. Yeah. Like, yeah. Doctors, doctors are that jacket that is sold in True West. A doctor will come and say, this is who I am, this is what I'm about. If you do not like it, if you can't stand for it, then you can go to nurses. We come and say, I am here and I advocate for this. But if someone comes and questions you, questions your morals, questions your values, questions your education, questions your knowledge, questions your wisdom, you start to change and say, no, I am not standing for that. I meant I am standing for this. As young South African nurses, we have the, the responsibility to transform the reason I'm saying transform and restore. Restore means it's something that has been there before, but now it has lost its value. It needs someone to come and revive it. So I am born again. I love Christ with all my heart. And the Bible says that um, God said to Ezekiel, was it Ezekiel? Ezekiel, can this dead dry bones resurrect and come back to life? And that's what nursing needs. Nursing needs Ezekiel of our healer. Um, we are being abused under the name of Florence Nightingale, isn't it? Mm. The sad thing is that we don't know who Florence Nightingale is and what she stood for. So Florence Nightingale was not a nurse. She was a, a social reformer and a statistician. She was not a nurse. She then came and founded the modern nursing. She founded, she became a pioneer. She founded nursing. She stood amongst many who were seated and saw a need, but didn't have the audacity, didn't have the confidence to stand and say, I'm going to be the first one to start this as a nurse. A young nurse, you need to 
arrived. So I am a motivational speaker. I speak in different platforms. I love speaking in, in, in platforms where there are young people, younger than me, that are about 28 years old. I love speaking in platforms that are younger than my, uh, myself because I, I love my future. I have a daughter that is 11 months old that I love very much. And I, 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 every time I stand in a podium, I stand in a podium thinking about my daughter because I know she's going to grow in the soil of South Africa and she needs a leader that is not a leader of mediocrity, but a leader that is a leader of excellence. And if I don't stand in podiums and utter words of bringing up leaders who are leaders of, of, of excellence, not leaders of mediocrity, it means my daughter will have a president that is a mediocre. So if I don't stand in platforms like this where there are student nurses and emphasize the importance of resurrecting the image of nurses in South Africa, it means my daughter will be nursed by a nurse who is a mediocre. What are we fighting for? Seems like we do it just for fun.